President Biden. You can still see him there on your screens, awarding the Presidential Medal of Freedom to 17 recipi recipients, rather, from all walks of life. You have star athletes, civil rights leaders, educators, religious leaders. Uh, educators, innovators. For more on this celebratory day, we bring in right now ABC News Washington correspondent Alex Perche. So, Alex, what stood out to you from today's ceremony? Well, Deidre, I think you you hit the nail on the head. The diversity of the 17 recipients. You have educators. You've got uh, military members. You've you've got clergy. You've got politicians on both sides of the aisle, at least uh, two former Republican senators, along with uh, former Representative Gabby Giffords. Uh, you've got uh, Steve Jobs, civil rights icons, and then, of course, these Olympians, the president ending today uh, saying that this is America. And you heard that rousing uh, round of applause that he got, touting the diversity in this room, uh, these individuals receiving the nation's highest civilian honor. Yeah, Alex, this is really such a feel-good moment, which I think collectively we all need. I mean, this event is coming amid an exhausting few months. We have these controversies over recent Supreme Court rulings, the constant tension over gun control, deadly shootings, concerns about the economy. What does this day mean for the Biden administration? Well, it's, it's a break from, from that tough news cycle, right? I mean, this is a time where he actually gets a chance to, to, to celebrate some of the accomplishments uh, and, and contributions that, 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 these, that these Americans have, have, have given uh, their, their, their country. I mean, I, I think of uh, Kazir Khan. He's the, the, the gold star father that was, that was honored today, a uh, Pakistani-American. His son was a, uh, a captain in, in, the, in the Army. He was killed back in, in 2004 during the Iraq War. He was honored today. He notably back in 2016 gave that impassioned speech at the DNC with his pocket constitution. Uh, you, you, you heard him recognize Simone Biles, who, who is the most decorated uh, American Olympian in, 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 in our history uh, today. And, and also notably uh, the, the one person on this list who was not here, uh, Denzel Washington, uh, who, you know, the, the president also saying that he would award that medal at a later time. But but you know, this was a chance to really kind of break away from from just the 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 the, the fire hydrant of, of 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 tough news that this administration has been dealing with. That's a great way to put it, Alex, and very much a feel-good moment, obviously for the honorees, but for us as fellow citizens as well. Alex Perche, thank you very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.